you played baseball with a, it felt like a football mentality. I know you played football a little bit at Michigan State. Did you ever wonder what could have been if you had stuck with football? Of course. I, I do know that I probably wouldn't have lasted long because I, I really enjoyed contact so much <laughs> in football. I remember when I got out of football and was playing baseball initially, I'd see guys run out of bounds. I said, man, go for that extra five yards. And I couldn't really understand it. But, you know, years later, it all makes sense. Uh, you know, I was a, a kind of like run them over guy or outrun them guy. That wasn't the smartest way to go about football. So <laughs> I think I would have done fine. But if I didn't smarten up, I don't think I would have played. I played 17 years in the big leagues and uh, in baseball, won two world championships. I don't think I could ever second guess my by choice, although I did enjoy football more than I did baseball, just by mentality-wise. What do you remember about the game Michigan State played against Notre Dame? You started that game, right? Uh, I what, what one? I mean, I, we played them four years in a row. I, I mean, I your freshman first game, I was. Yeah, your first. Oh yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah, we beat them down there in uh, in by the Golden Dome, and uh, that was my first game. I remember that uh, our quarterback, is Charlie Baggett, threw a, an interception, and I got I got aired out for it because they said I ran the wrong pattern, uh, which that's – I guess we could dispute that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we watched the films the next day, and it was apparent that I didn't. And our offensive coordinator says, well, we'll just move on amongst this play right here. And I took the heat as a rookie. But, you know, it's all about – it's a great learning experience. We ended up winning. That's all that counted. And uh, we had, uh, you know, three more years after that. We did not beat them. And uh, the toughest defensive back I ever played against was a guy named Luther Bradley. You may remember Luther Bradley. And uh, I was going to hit golf balls this year at uh, 6 a.m. At, at a golf range. And I saw a young black man. And I said, how are you doing, young man? And he said, I think I know you. I'm Luther Bradley. And I said, <laughs> wow, what? <laughs> Oh, circle. <laughs> but uh, I said, you were pretty tough. He said, you weren't bad yourself. So, you know, that's all we got is memories now. Um, you know, your teammates, your leaders, like I said, it all, it all has to come together to happen. And you can do everything right in any of these competitions, and it doesn't work sometimes. But, you know, I just become determined. Get after it the next year, and hopefully it'll happen for you. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.